Hello and welcome back to my intro to C series. So in this video, we're gonna take a little bit more of a deep dive into our Hello World application, just to get a better understanding of what's going on under the hood. So if you guys recall from the last video, we were left off with this program that's got a whole bunch of stuff going on that we don't quite understand yet. Let's go ahead and break this down and I'll start here at this top line, right? So we have this pound include with a angle bracket and then stdio.h. So what this line is basically doing is it is saying, we want to actually include a file called stdio.h. And STDIO is the standard input output library that comes with C. When you install a compiler, you get along with it a lot of files that contain code written by other people to simplify things. And this is an example of one of those files. And so by us saying pound include, we are literally saying we want to take the contents of this file and copy and paste it into this file right where this exists. And the reason that we're doing this is to give us access to this printf, which I'll come back to in a minute. The next thing that we see here is we see a int main void, and then we have a sort of an open curly brace and a closed curly brace here. This is something known as a function, which I will dive a little bit deeper into detail once we get further in the series. Main specifically means something special. Whenever you run an executable, the operating system is actually reaching into that executable and saying, hey, where is your function called main? And it looks for this by name, it looks for main. That is where the execution of the application begins. It's called an entry point to the application. Our main function here is basically saying, this is where the application starts. And for now, we're not actually gonna worry about this void or this int. We'll come back to that as we get further in the series, but just understand that this main right here is saying this is where the application actually starts. These curly braces are what contains main. So it's saying that everything that is inside these curly braces is what is gonna be executed when we are inside of main. So what are we executing? Well, we have two lines here. We have one line that says printf, and then it's got some double quotes here, uh, hello, comma, world, exclamation point, backslash n, double quote, close parenthesis, and then semicolon. So what is all of this stuff here doing? Because this is super cryptic if you're not familiar with this or haven't programmed before. As you recall in the previous video, printing is the process of actually writing text out to something, typically a terminal application such as this. So what this is saying is print anything inside these double quotes to the terminal. What we're printing is hello, comma, world, exclamation point, backslash n. Then we have a closing parenthesis, which is just sort of C's way of saying, this is all that we want to print or pass to this particular function. And again, I'll get into functions in a little bit. And then we have this semicolon at the end. C has this rule where a majority of the lines in the language must end in a semicolon. And this is true anytime you have a statement or expression. And I'll get into what statements and expressions are in a little bit, but basically it's saying this is the end of this particular thing that I want to perform or run or do. And then we have a return zero, which I'm actually not going to explain right now. We're going to skip over this because this actually relates to this and we'll come back to it later once we talk a little bit more about program flow. Okay, so we know what print is, we know what this double quoted text here is. We know what this semicolon is, but what's what's the F? What's the deal with that, right? Why is it why is it not just print? Why is it print F? Well, C's library actually has a function capable of printing formatted text. As we'll see in a little bit, we can actually provide various tokens, what are called tokens, to this string of text here, right? And a string is any set of characters inside double quotes. We can provide a token that will basically insert something into the string at that point, and that is formatting the string. So this is literally saying print formatted. Okay, so this, this isn't very interesting, so let's actually, let's put a, a number in here somewhere. Let's replace this hello world text with 
the number is, and then we're going to use a percent sign, i. And this percent i is a special token that printf recognizes that says we want to insert an integer at this point in the string. If I say after the double quote here, comma, three, what it's going to do is it's going to take this three and plug it in at the string here at the end. And it's going to print this to the terminal. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll go back here and we'll say make main and dot slash main to run it. And now we'll see the number is three. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that's going on here under the hood that I'm not quite ready to explain yet, but this printf function is gonna be something that we're gonna be using quite extensively, so I wanted to sort of start introducing some concepts now. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to discuss variables and what they are, how they're used, and how they work. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Feel free to leave some comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.